Are you finished playing on your game? Uh, no, I was just going to look at look at the fixtures. We're playing puzzle again, bo- puzzle bubble, or well, the fixtures or came crazy out. Crazy jewels or something. Fixtures have come out, but then I'm, my memory is not great. I can remember the first game. Go on, then what's the first game, John? Arsenal away. Test John Sinclair with the, yeah. with the fixture list. <laughs> Arsenal away, yes. We, well, the fixtures are fixtures. I mean, obviously, people have got views on whether yeah. they look good or not. But at the end of the day, you got to play everybody home and away. And what order they come out is a, kind of a random thing. And although we've got Arsenal, you kind of think, oh, it's Arsenal. We haven't beaten them for ages. Well, equally, you know, first game of the season, maybe they're not up to speed and we've got, you know, the squad's improved because our squad is going to obviously be uh, tinkered with. Yeah, we've, got, we've now. got some transfer rumours here. Yeah, we have. Come on to, haven't we, John? But, you, you know, you never know with those sort of things. And so whatever fixture you get or fixtures or whatever order they're in, the players have got to be ready for them. And hopefully they're going to be ready... Um, you know, in time, you know, for the season. I mean, if you look at last season, for instance, we all had a whole first game away, wasn't it? Was it a whole city? Pull away. Pull away. We, we, we all lost. thought, yeah, we all thought, yeah, three points. <laughs> we so, looked rubbish, didn't we? Well, exactly. Yeah. So let's hope, you know, they prepare and think, well, it's Arsenal, we've got to be ready. I, we've got, I mean, I looked at the fixtures live yesterday as they came out and we did a little video. There was, in the first six, there was Arsenal, Chelsea, yeah, but uh, they're in Man the U, pre- we're in Liverpool. The pre- but people might look at Leicester and go, oh, it's Leicester. You, you, don't know, you don't know, do you? And I, at the time, I was like, oh my God, what a not, I called it a nightmare first six fixtures. But No, there's no such thing as a nightmare. No, Because we're, in the, we're in the Premier League. I've calmed if, down if, now. If, if we were playing, you know, Fulham and Notts County or, or whatever, you know, in the lower division, we'd go, no, it's not the same, is it? No. We and want to be playing these teams. And people have said to me, often, a bit like we did last season, the big clubs have been halfway around the world in the summer. Yes. Uh, you know, and a lot of them do slowly slowly build so a lot of people's comments have been catch them cold in the first couple of games yeah I suppose if you're you know one of the promoted sides like Newcastle it's quite exciting for well, them that, because they're in you know they're, they're moving up to, to the big yeah. time again Huddersfield for instance and well that's why I did call it a nightmare because I thought we got four big clubs and two newly promoted teams Brighton the first home game down here yeah, at King Power that'd be brilliant yes but they're going to be so excited but that's good yeah, we want yeah, positive. We want John, I like no, it. I we, love no, it. we want them to be excited because, you know, that's what this division is about. When Leicester got promoted, we were the, the, the same. Wanted, wanted to do well, oh, wanted yeah. to go away, get points, wanted to win at home, all the rest of it. But that's what makes this division what it is. Obviously, we've got uh, games to be moved for TV. It'd be interesting to see what they do there. Well, the I Arsenal reckon, one looks New- quite interesting. Well, Spurs' first game is one of the promoted clubs. Is it Newcastle? I can't remember off yeah. the top of my head. It, it is. It's Newcastle So, so you look at that Spurs. and think, well, that, that might well be a TV game. But you're trying to figure out what they might choose, you know. I think the last time Newcastle, Newcastle's last Premier League game was Spurs, I believe, when they got hammered, didn't they? Well, yeah, they, they, they did. Yeah, Spurs. Yeah. Well, when that'd Spurs be nice. went kaput, yeah. <laughs> Don't so. mind that. Um, we're down there at the... Don't Blue- mention England. <laughs> no. <laughs> Well, actually, they've got a lot of stick for their defensive performance, haven't they, really? thought the keepers did reasonably well, but they didn't have any support, did they, at the back? Are you talking England against France? Yes, I am. Yeah, I dare me, it's, it's painful watching at times, isn't it, watching England as an England fan? I, I, I know he's testing the water with a few players, and I kind of get that. It was a friendly, so it's not the end of the world to lose, but... Didn't they look good going forward, France, though? Pogba, yeah, uh, Pogba ran the show, Pogba, didn't he? Pogba had a fantastic game, didn't he? And looked really yeah, good. Yeah, it's a shame. Uh, Harry Kane scoring goals, though. And I'm going to try and twist that, actually, back to Leicester, because I think Dembele yeah. uh, had a fantastic game, looked hot, and Barcelona were heavily linked with buying him. But they reckon after that performance... Um, on Tuesday for France, his value's gone up even higher. So that means that Barcelona, one of our rumours, John, are very interested in Riyad Mahrez. Are they? Yes, they are. Thirty-five to forty million. Well, I, saying, think, I think for Barcelona. Yeah. They're saying he's not. He's, they're not. Mahrez isn't their number one target. Right. But he does fit a lot of their bills if other things don't come in. So a bit of a we might buy him in the end if. If things if, don't work if out. Things don't work out with anybody better. It's not the best way to go forward to a player, is it? Really? Oh, by the way, could you come because you couldn't get the other one? <laughs> yeah, but he's not going to say no, is he? No, it? he's not. Nobody's no. going to say no to Barcelona. And at the end of the day, I think we've almost accepted that he's gone anyway. Well, if if nobody comes in for him, could he stay? You know, it'd be an awkward you, one, you wouldn't it? Well, I think for the manager it would be because, well, if he's here, he's part of the squad, and if he's chosen to play, he has to go out there and do his best. 
End of story. John, let's crack through some of these transfer rumours. Obviously, Harry Maguire is going through, we believe, as we're literally down here filming. Yeah. 17 million. He looks a really decent 24-year-old yeah, centre-back. Th- that's kind of the cover we, we sort of need. Is he going to be covered? Cause I think it'll it, be in there. It, in there, yeah, yeah. Because obviously, you know, like you say, you've got the age problems with... Although, you know, Morgan and Huth have been tremendous for us. Um, but he, he, but I, he fits the bill. It's the I'd, sort of player, uh, you know, got the good age profile... Uh, pretty solid at the back, yeah. The sort of player you want. I agree. And they've, they've been in for somebody else. As Johnny well, Evans. We yeah. apparently had 10 million turned down for Johnny Evans. West Brom. He's had over 100 appearances for Man U. 59 appearances, I think, for a Northern Ireland. They're going to go. Going to go. go second offer is going to go in, isn't it? And for me, he reminds me a bit of Huth and Morgan Rodden. Yeah. He's 29. Yeah. yeah. An older head. Tons of experience. You don't play 100 times for Man U because you're average, do you? Play because you. Well, we've got some Man U history here as well, yeah. haven't we? He probably does know drink water, doesn't he? He's probably yeah, from I'll, the same era. I'd have thought so. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'd have thought so. And, and Matty Jones, maybe. So, um, I think I think we've offered ten million. It's been rejected. Just it's easy for me to say it's not our money, but go and go and put a bit more in. We missed out on uh, yeah, Michael might, Keane last year, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, they might didn't put a bit. Yeah, they might be looking for uh, I know another two or three mil. People have said seventeen million for Harry Maguire sounds a lot. I, I think it's going to be about thirteen million with add-ons. Yeah, but yeah. In today's market. That's not very it's much. Not. I mean, we talk millions now like it's pe- pe- pennies, and, <laughs> pennies and shillings yeah, and pence, don't we? It's like Johnny Evans, 10 million. I'll go and put another two or three million But it's it, interesting but. this week there was an article about TV coverage in football and about how little people are watching games on Sky and BT and so on because they're finding other way rounds to watch. Um, and you wonder whether the bubble might burst in the future because... They're not really getting the viewing figures that you would expect. Yeah. Because people are going through the back door to watch, may I say. Oh, you um, may say that, but, John. But, 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 you know, they're yeah. aware that that's happening. Yeah. Um, and, o- and, and obviously, if you haven't got that facility, you've got the BBC's match of the day. You yeah. can wait and watch. Or you come but, down somewhere like this, John, and watch well, it. Down well, that's right. Yeah, I think you a know. lot of people like to do it socially. And yeah, that, it's more and, fun. And obviously the pub pay for it because it brings them business. Yeah, it's but, more fun. But certainly the, the money that we're getting from... TV is obviously important, but you do wonder about the future there a little bit. It could do. Sticking with the present, here's a rumour, which yeah. some fans may it's not have looking heard rumor. of. Yeah, it is. A, there's some, a lot. <laughs> not, not him being good looking, but... <laughs> Lewis, Lewis Muriel. I'm going to say it, Muriel. 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 It's probably not. He's uh, Colombian. He's played 15 times for Colombia. Uh, he's at Inter Milan, John. Yeah. He's scored 21 goals in his last 79 games. Apparently, he's like Ronaldo, but not... Real Madrid's Ronaldo, Portuguese star, the yes, Ronaldo. The it's Ronaldo. like yeah. the older Ronaldo that we'd remember from Brazil, who was oh, a yeah, dull, yeah, good striker. Yeah, he was a good striker, yes. Rabbit yes. teeth, as some people might <laughs> offen- offensively call yeah, it, well, but you know who I mean. 26 is a good age, isn't he, yeah. um, as well. But yeah, that's kind of exciting when you're looking at players like that. And obviously with strikers coming in, and we've had this before, haven't we, where they get a good rep coming in and... They either work or they don't. You know, yeah. We've had quite a lot of experience of that in recent years. Don't get me we? going on Slimani, John. Well, no. Or um, Musa. No. Well, that's it, you see. And uh, Although Musa is linked to Fernabachi. Yeah. As is Vardy. Yeah, I can't see Vardy going. I, I can see them wanting Musa to go to get the money to buy somebody else. Yeah. But they're not going to want to let Vardy go. What they've been talking about is getting the sort of striker that Vardy can work with outside of Ogazaki. But Slimani's second season quite important for him because okay Vardy's first season wasn't the greatest no came in did it second season I think sometimes going into a second season they're more settled probably feel a bit more comfortable yep. depending on what system the manager decides to play of course uh, a rumour of uh, Amati being linked with Inter Milan he feature, he looks a good player I think yeah I'm Daniel not, Amati but he's not quite settled into the team on a permanent basis I've never been completely convinced by him really well, well he shows him is he, a centre-back? he plays for his country as a centre back but he's not really played for us as a centre back no. but once I think that's right um, in midfield when I've seen him I don't know it's not really worked for me Indeed, and Drinkwater for me have been the partnership that's worked and I'd like to see Matty James back in there. Yeah, I think Matty James got Andy King as well. King, it's a yeah. bit of a workhorse for us and uh, can do the job if asked of him. So if Almaty went, I'm not sure I'd be too upset. A uh, couple of uh, development squad players. We won't spend too long on there. Sam Hughes has come in. He's a 20-year-old. They're just going to go in the development squad. A young lad who I've forgotten, come from Shetland. 
Shepshed Dynamo, an 18-year-old. That's great, isn't it? It's, I love to see local lads like yeah, that come through. Yeah. And it's apparently his dream move. He's made it to the development squad. I wish I'd written his name down. Sorry about that, but welcome to him. Um, but the under-20s were in the World Cup. You know, yeah. you look what at that. All these, I mean, obviously, no Leicester players involved in that. But isn't that, you know, taking the game forward? You know, you've got these young players who can play with that much ability. Well, again, that brings me back to the Harry Maguire at 24. Yeah. I think, I think I'm right saying he's English. And he's had one year's experience for Hull. A lot of fans have put on the comments that uh, that we were quite interested in that they were spotting him when he was at Sheffield United. He left Sheffield United to go to Hull for two and a half million. Um, and obviously, you know... He's got, some, got some good experience behind him as well. So, now. yeah, and he's proved... What I'd like us to do is... is uh, the, the guy we're looking at from Inter Milan is great, but not proven in the Premier League. It's still, for me, it's a gamble. All the players who think haven't so. got that experience. Johnny Evans. Like, that, that adjustment, loads of experience. That's adjustment they have to make, isn't it? Yeah. It's I just the speed of the game over here is much much faster than it is abroad, of course. Yeah, the physicality as well, yeah. the pace, isn't yeah. it? It's a cooler climate in England. You know, playing Not today, but it's cooler. So, no, but, <laughs> you know, when you play in Serie A and, and out in the La Liga, it's, it's very much a different type of game, isn't it? Because of the heat. Yeah. yeah, true. So Johnny Evans, for me, I just think at 29, 10 million to 15 million in yeah, today's market. Come on. We've got the money. I Loads agree. Of money. And I think that'd be two great. I mean, uh, they're in the top ten earners from last season, aren't they? Leicester. Yeah. From what they did in the Champions League, make it pay. So yeah, we want to get Champions League the season after next, don't we? Absolutely. So John, yeah, you did sound that with <laughs> there's no conviction in your voice then. Champions League. Like, what next year or the year after? Well, I'm, you know, if we can make the top six this year, this yeah, coming I, season. I've seen um, quite a few. I mean, interesting for people to put in the comments where they think we'll finish next season. Of course, I. I'm, I've tasted Europe now. I definitely, I'd like to next season, one way or the other, to get us back into Europe. Whether that's if that was the Champions League, amazing. If it was the Europa League via a cup or yeah, via yeah. a top six finish, I'll take that. But certain, I want to get us back in Europe. Yeah, as certain, quick as possible. certainly other things are the cups because we haven't done well in well well in them in recent years. The FA Cup's always been one I've always fancied us, but. It never seems to work yeah. out. And we've had other priorities, let's be fair, in the League Cup and stuff like that. We kind of put out the second team and that sort of thing. Yeah. Well, I think, I think I'm right in saying, John, if the maths is right, next year, 2018, that'll be 49 years since Leicester last got to an FA Cup final. That's, that's too long for a club the size of Leicester to it get is. to an FA Cup final, isn't it? Yeah. I'm going to be cheeky, John. Do you remember them? Were you around when they were went well, to 69 Cup final? Uh, yeah, but well, 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 63, 63. I was nine years old. Were you? Because uh, I'm six, I was 63 last week. A year younger than uh, you. Were, John. Yeah, so I remember watching the Man U game. Yeah. And expecting Leicester to win because at that stage we were doing well. I remember being, you know, crying at the end because we didn't <laughs> win and going out and playing football. And anybody who wanted to be Man United, I wanted to kick them. Uh, <laughs> And then obviously we got there again, 69, 69 Man, City, yeah. Man City, I don't know, it just didn't work for us there, did no. it at all? But it's been a long, um, long time. Yeah, that's been a, a long time ago, because I, I remember looking back on those games for a documentary I did, um, and you know, pretty sad really. Yeah. I've, I've actually, I actually had some audio, would you believe? From the was it 1949 Cup yeah, final? Wolves, I had a guy. I had a guy. I found it in the in the library. A guy talking through, being in the dressing room and walking out in the crowd and stuff like that. Yeah. Forget his name, but like yeah, heady days of the FA Cup. But yeah, bring it back. That would be good. Be good, right? Thanks, John. We're down here at the Blues Bar. The guys have said it's going to be a lovely weekend. They're offering two for one cocktails. Yeah, I think, I think we're looking at 27 degrees at the weekend. It's going to be gorgeous. So you can come and sit, overlook the King Power, overlook the canal, yeah. which is actually quite pretty out there. I'll hold one of these up. Um, two for one on cocktails. Eat as many ribs as you can on a Friday. Eat as many chicken wings as you can on a Saturday. Watch the sport that is on. I think cricket's on. The US Open's on as we're down there. Oh, yeah. Saturday. I forgot about that. Yeah. So come down to the sports bar, have a beer. Do you notice I've got the shirt on today? I know that. It's so much nice is it a new one john i uh, know it's been in the wardrobe for a while because i thought i've got one because i never seem to wear them for the for these recordings i think i better make an effort today have you seen the new kasabian outfits no outfits. I, I've, you... I've saw the new kasabian video for well, their new single yesterday kasabian have launched like a leicester have city they? clothing have they really? yeah, it's in the oh, shop we'll go and have a look oh have a look it's real. i think you'll like it I you think... like kasabian don't you as well yeah. well big fan i saw them at king power here yeah uh in fact if you buy the new album that i got the double cd 
because the second CD has got a recording of what they did down here on it. Has it? Yeah, I, too, I can't play too many tracks on the radio though because most of them have got swearing in them, but it's and John, still, still nice to be Come there. on, you might as well plug your radio show. You're on, t- on every yeah, Friday. Friday, on Friday, 4 till 6, Hermitage FM, and it's available online. If you just put Hermitage FM in, um, in your radio app, yeah. Um, if you live in the Colville area, it's 99.2 uh, online, and then there's uh, an app on your... Yeah, tune in app. Tune in app, that's right, yeah. that's the one. That's the one. Right, thanks, John. And, and you'll we'll be on it. Oh, <laughs> unlucky for them. <laughs> We're recording that later. <laughs> okay, thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll catch you soon.